Hi, I'm Lindy Witten. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to talk about complex shapes. Sometimes when we paint in, we want to, uh, we really like a scene, but we find some of the shapes are difficult to come to terms with. And one of the things I've found over the years that causes the most problems are boats. And most of us do like boats. They're very appealing. They um, give us a little sense of freedom and adventure as we look at them, or they can suggest moods of quiet and introspection. Whatever the mood we're trying to create, boats are a great way to help when you're down at the seashore and, and having water in your paintings. So today I thought I would look at boats and a couple of different ways to deal with the issue of complex subjects. The first thing I would say is get yourself lots of references. Get used to looking at boats, go where boats are, look at them on the internet. You can go to Pixel and Pixabay and wet canvas and, and look at copy free copyright free images of boats and start building yourself up a little library of boats. It's very helpful because then you start to get to know what they look like. Secondly, so let's go get yourself a library of images. Second thing is when you first start out with boats don't make it too complex. So here I have uh, a number of different scenes of boats, starting at a very simple one up here. Uh, I've added in two boats, then I've got four boats here, but it's, it, this is still a relatively simple composition because they're quite simple shapes. We're looking down on them and quite easy to deal with that. But then I go and add more boats and more boats and it starts to get a little bit more difficult. So some of the ways we can deal with it. Firstly, I don't want anyone to think of this as a cheat at all. When you're painting, you are painting and certainly drawing skills will help you and it's great if you've got good drawing, drawing skills but sometimes when people want to paint they don't have great drawing skills, skills to start off with. So if you haven't got your drawing up to speed but you want to paint something then an easy way to do it to take your painting here, your photo reference, blow it up to the size that you want it to use it and then just Let's just turn it over here and go all over the back with charcoal or a graphite pencil. Either will do. So nothing too clever. You don't need lots of things for this. I'm only doing that one section and then we put it back up. Attach it firmly to wherever you're going to be doing it and then we just Draw very firmly around the shape. Now it's up to you at this stage how much you want to put in, how much detail. Maybe you just want that outline. You can see I've got it on there. Or maybe you do want to put in a whole lot of details as well. And you can put in the shadow underneath, making those little steppy marks there. I can put in the bucket, the bucket shadow. I can put in the guides for where those verticals are coming down. Put in some of these other little bits and pieces. And you're not going to keep all those. And this is why I say it's not... Uh, not, you don't need to get yourself tied up into knots about, oh, I'm not really doing this, it's not really my work. So there I've got all the lines. Once I start applying the paint, I'm going to lose some of those lines, but you've got the idea there and you can keep referring back to it. So that's a very quick way to get a complex shape onto your painting paper or canvas and before you start the painting. Um, and don't be put off by doing that. It's a good way to start. And as you, your hand starts drawing those shapes, your brain memories and hand memories start working together and you start to learn how to draw boats. I'm not saying that you shouldn't sketch boats and try and draw them from life. You should. And you should try and drive, draw them from your photos. But that's a good way to get started before you gain the drawing skills so that you can include a boat if you want to into your photo, into your paintings. So... Another way you can do that transferring, so here I've got a more complex scene than this. I've taken this photo 
and I've moved it a little bit, I've blown it up to the size I want and then I've put a sheet of graphite transfer paper underneath it and you can see the white side goes against um, the back of the picture you want to transfer and the graphite side goes against the paper that you're going to use. I've taped both of them at the top so that at any stage I can lift it up and see how I'm progressing. So again, you need to use it quite firmly. So I'm, oh, oh. so when I'm doing this, I've got some very straight lines there and I might use my ruler to help with those and just put them in and the graphite will. And I, I might not be too strict about how they're going in just to get the nice straight lines of the jetty where they should be. That's sort of going to be the background. And when I've got that little bit in, I'll just check to see, is it coming through? Yes, it's coming through. And then I'll start working on these. So here I go, just following the outline oops, of the boat. Working my way right around to the back there, over. Down I come, working around. Then I do the other side. I'm working the waterline there, and then I'm just going to work around some of the major shapes there, where these little ribbings go in. I hope my head is out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Where the sound um, is a centerboard there. I just make these words up because I don't really know a lot about boats, but I think that is the centreboard, so we'll call it that. Now you can see that I'm getting the outline of the boat. It's quite quick, quite easy. That's a very complex subject to paint, um, but I'm going to do it as the demonstration this, um, this month for the acrylics, and we'll see how we can divide those shapes up and it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. When you come to doing your painting for this month, you might choose a different photo, and... Um, I will be loading up uh, for the Art Inspiration and the Skill Builders. You'll be getting a whole lot of boat reference photos that I'll be giving you. But if you don't, if you're not Skill Builder or a Art Inspiration, just go into Pexels and Pixabay uh, websites and have a look for, for boat photos that you might enjoy painting. And you don't need to do this one, uh, but it's a good complex subject and I'll be able to show you how to deal with that. So that's another way. But... If you're progressing beyond that and you, you want to do these without um, any reference to tracing off subjects, let's put that one over there. Another good tip is to think of the boat as a box. I'm just going to use um, a Sharpie for this because it'll show up better on here. So if I think of, uh, I'm drawing that boat and I'm going to draw it in a box. So let's move it over here where we can see it. So what I'll do is I'll draw a, a box starting there and it'll come forward to this point and that will be the bottom of the box so the box is going to go across like so and then I'm just going to draw it in um, the box is going that way so I should just draw the box out like this draw the box like so down, down and you can see there are the there are the inside lines of the box there. So back of the box, front of the box. And then this is the edge of the box there. Front of the box. So I divide the front of the box in half. There's halfway through the front of the box, halfway through the back of the box. And so that is going to be halfway through the back of my boat. So I'm going to draw this part of the boat along there and then I'm going to make the curve come around so that it's going to, if I'm doing a box from there to there, that's going to be halfway and so my curve is going to come fairly straight down there and then around to that point there and then my other one is coming up and around, oops, up and around, whoops. I'm trying to look at the box there. Maybe not quite that far. I like that. So when I've got the, the idea of it, I'll just draw it in a bit better. So back of the boat. And then it comes around 
to the front there and then I take the other coming up the box and around like that and so you can see how I've got a fairly good boat shape there already then I just take the side of the boat coming down there the underneath lip of it that will be the center of the boat and then I have to bring the boat around to there that one's coming around to there and then I can start building the inside of the boat so that's back where the wooden seats go and that's the base of it there there's a nice wide rim of the boat coming around like that and at the back and this will be the seat then I've got another seat coming across like so in the middle of the boat I should be paying attention here because that is the area there where the board the seat sits there'll be a few little boxy shapes down here underneath the seat and there'll be a, you know, a few boards going across there and that'll be the front of the boat there a few boards going across there and it'll be that'll be the floor of the boat there and then you can start adding in the little bits here the little bore of what do you call those things I've forgotten what I call those things the little floaty bits around there oh <laughs> I, I took my eye off the boat and I've put them around the base there they should be going around here so that's where my little bumper things are going around the edge there that's the that is the water down there so I'm just making that the water and that then you can see where the, the reflection goes there so I just put that in a little reflection going back around here somewhere so that's going to be the darker area of water. See so it goes across. I do all this, I lose the box, but I keep a good shape of the boat. I should have made it more. The front of it's further over there, isn't it? And once you get the idea of this, it becomes easier to do this without worrying too much about putting the box in. And there I've got the seat. That's the floor coming around there. I've got another line here where the seat comes across. And a little boxy bit underneath it. Some floor floors. And you can see the idea I can change the shape of the boat by changing which way the box goes. That box would be going more like that. So I hope that gives you an idea of how you could start out drawing boats. Um, and until you get to the stage where you've sketched them up and you're happy to draw them uh, freely, then try one of these other methods of transferring a complex subject. So it doesn't need to be a boat, it could be a house, a piece of architecture, they're always quite, quite complex too. So when you've got a complex shape, think about collecting a series of images around it so you become familiar with them. Do some sketching, but also if you need to put in a complex shape and you don't feel comfortable about getting the shapes right, try either putting some charcoal or graphite on the back and drawing through onto the surface you're going to use it on or using some transfer paper. Okay, I hope that makes you feel a bit more comfortable about tackling a complex shape and a complex subject and that's what we're going to do this month. We're going to paint this series of little rowboats and it's, don't get worried, it's not going to be too complex. I'm going to break it down into some easy steps for you. See you next week when we start in on the painting of these boats. In the meantime, this will be a, a, a JPEG of this will be attached to your lesson notes for today, and you can start uh, playing around with that and drawing it up to scale and seeing if you want to crop it in any way. Okay, see you next week. Bye for now.